Welcome back. Um, today, I think we're gonna see if we can do something about this skill saw 1616. First thing I think we'll fix this rope. It's too short and it's also kind of sticking. It's not going all the way in. Uh, so let's take it off. And see if we can put some put some new rope on this make it work a little smoother but also we'll have to take it apart and fix the gasket that's on the tank for the fuel and for the oil on this one there's the same space with a with like a separation in between for the for oil and for gas so on this one that gasket is i think gone so whenever you put oil and gas into the tanks they kind of mix oh, they kind of mix and uh just chance that doesn't run so i'm gonna have to take her apart and replace that gasket i don't have a gasket but i have some but i have some uh, gasket material maybe we can make one but anyway, first thing I think, let's uh, fix this thing. There's two screws on the side here, one here, one here. And... And this one here in the back. Uh, I think even holds the handle in place. Okay, let's see. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to take this whole thing apart. But start with that for now. So that's the screws. Bolts. All right. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. This rope, I think, might be even a little bit too thick. So to take this off, there's a little clip there. I have to push it out of the way. C-clip washer. Now this comes out. I don't know if the spring will uh, come together. Maybe I can try and keep the spring inside. Because if it if it comes out, it's a pain in the butt to put back in. I might have to take it out, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try to wind it back up a little bit. Put it back in there. Hopefully, you can see that. There we go. See if it stays in there. Come on. Okay. It's in there. This one. 
figure shit out somehow. Yeah, I got this one with a little hook. And stuck in there. Wow, okay. Let me try to twist it. Twist it, push it out. Let's see. Wow, it's stuck. rope was a little bit too thick for the space so I'm gonna put that in there I don't know if I did that earlier or not but anyway let's compare the new rope that I got hopefully it's thinner it looks like it's thinner see that but it should work much better let's see yeah. Yeah, it sticks a little bit but hopefully it works it might stretch a little bit and then yeah all right so <coughs> put it through the hole Excuse me. I'll go here. Snake it through there. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, right there. Make a knot, right? That's how that was. Stuff it in there somehow. Does it have to be in all the way? Yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? Otherwise, it's not going to spin freely. Where's that piece that was in there? Huh, right there. So that was the piece that was in there. Okay, let's try to tighten this up a little bit more. Okay, cut the end.
Okay. Maybe squish it a little bit. should go in. There we go. That looks good. See that? Nice and flush. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so how long of a rope do we need? Oh, man. See what I did there? Oh, that's okay. We'll just cut it, put it back through this way. Because this goes on the inside. See? The handle goes on this side. So I'm just gonna cut it and we'll snake it through again. So good. Uh, let me just see how much of a rope do we need. How long does it have to be? Tie it all the way around. Like that. Let's see. Okay, like that, it's pretty much full, so it's that much plus a little bit more for the handle, so cut it right here, and then we'll shorten it if we need to. Burn this so it doesn't fray too much okay so now pull that out and we have to go in like this all right pull that through and of course got to tie the handle on that side now all righty so what I gotta do now is this little notch, it's got to go in the spring right there, which can be tough. Let's see if I can do that. If I can match them somehow. I'm going to take some of the rope off. Like that. Okay. I just pulled the rope off a little bit so you get a little bit more room to get it out. Let's see. Okay. How do I match? So, yeah. It's tough because you can't see what you're doing unless you take the spring out, right? So I'm trying to. This is a pain. This 
This is a pain. Let's see. Hmm. Let's put the wires back in there. Or the spring. The wire. There you go. I'm just gonna try to do it this way. Get lucky, right? Let's see. Oops, did it go in? Ooh, I think it did. Did. Huh. Cool. So now, just gonna make sure I have enough wraps. So I think I gotta. I think I gotta pull this out actually. I think wind it. Let's see. Is that how it goes? I'm gonna wind it. A couple of times. Wind the spring. Right. Oh, actually, I gotta wind it like this. You can tell I'm not an expert at this stuff, but I just try and make it work. Just try and tension the string. So that when let's see if that's enough. We'll go back through here. And now when I let go, when I unwind it all the way out, I think that's it right there. It's supposed to go back and be full as you see right there oops see right there the rope is all the way in the groove that means there's a lot of rope in there and then That's good, I think, right there. Maybe, maybe one more. Maybe a little bit more tension. Let's see, one more uh, around. One more time around. I think. Okay. See now when I go back through here, what we got. Goes back, yeah, I think it's full right there. So yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna hold the rope. So 
doesn't uh, doesn't go all the way in. Take the washer, put it down. Take the C clip, put it down. Let's try to secure it here. Let's see. Let me line it up. Okay. Now I'm just going to try to push the C clip in there. Oof. It's hard to film. And do the stuff. Okay, right there. Push the C clip in. Uh, a smaller screwdriver. Okay. What's going on? There you go. I think it's on. So now this shouldn't shouldn't be able to pop off. Just trying to make sure it's in there. Yeah, I think that's good. Now we need a handle. A, like a little knot right here so I don't have to hold it see so I'm take this so gotta go from this side and then make a knot up here I'm sure you guys know how to do all this stuff This is just for the some of the guys doing it for the first time. And this is how you do it. Pretty much all these chainsaws. It's all the same. They all have a spring. It's a pain in the butt, you know, put back in when you take it out. All that stuff. So I'm gonna untie this now. There you go. And then the handle, I'm gonna try. I don't wanna go too far in because see the rope starts to uh, bunch up. So right about there looks good. So, right, something like that, right? All right, so the knot is gonna be right here. I'm gonna mark it with a marker. Right about there, and then again, I'm gonna take this out a little bit. I'll pull, pull this out a little bit, make a knot again so I don't have to hold it, okay? And then that's where the mark was. I'm gonna tie there. We go, just one, yeah, I think just one would do. There, yeah, fits in. Got it. The scissors are not that sharp. Maybe use this guy. Got the rope. Burn it so it doesn't fray.
good tension. I put a little bit of lube here. I mean, it spins pretty nice, but it wouldn't hurt to have. Let's see if I have any oil. Take a little bit of oil. And this bottle. I'm just gonna put a screwdriver in there. Drops of oil right there. Hopefully, it goes down inside. Maybe some WD forty. On the edges, so it kind of goes behind on this side. There's my WD right there. Take the rope out a little bit. Just gonna spray a tiny bit in there on the bottom. Okay. Maybe here too. Put it back on the chainsaw, make sure it works. Maybe we should do that. Okay. Yeah, it'll be quick, let's do that. And then we can take it apart again. All the way, try to fix that uh, gasket, tank gasket, I think it's called. Yeah, it's a tank gasket. start because what I did before is uh, I got it going as you uh, probably saw one of the videos but I didn't have the oil and I just had the gas and as long as you just have the gas in there it's fine you know uh, but I also I didn't know the gasket was bad so I added oil and once I added the oil started to mix and then it wouldn't work but we did get it going in one of the videos um, yeah okay let's see I don't think it has oil in there now, does it? Let's check. I think I took the oil out. Yeah, maybe a little bit on the bottom, but let's see if I think there's gas in there. Let's see if we can start. Yeah, there's gas in there. At least uh, we'll see if the rope doesn't break on. Give it some choke. Yeah, it's not gonna start.
at least we fixed that. I'm going to make a part two video where we fix the uh, gas tank gasket. One video would be a little bit too long. So uh, thanks for watching and see you in part two.